Another one of Miss Tyler's students, Carter and Spencer, with another awesome illustrated book. Uh-oh. I have to mute myself. Oh no, now I'm going to have to do it again. Mm. Or maybe this one didn't have sound effects. Let's see. Whoops. Oh no. Uh oh. I have to mute myself. Oh, there we go. Okay. okay. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Nico. Oh. 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 Or maybe this one didn't have sound effects. Let's see. Whoops. Oh no. Uh oh. I have to mute myself. Oh, there we go. Okay. okay. Wait, hold on. Oh! That was Dorothy breaking everything. Hold on, hold on, everybody. Oh no! <laughs> now I'm creating a sound loop. Alright, um, what I need to do is just stop this one so it's not talking back to me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is going to work now. I love how Dorothy picks the one place. <laughs> like Nico's out right now. He's out and he looks so comfy. Alright. Let's try this again. This is attempt number two. Take two. Did you get all that? It was adorable. So, at the beginning, I'll read it to you. Once upon a time, there was a kitten named Dorothy. Dorothy was living in a very good house with very good parents. Then Dorothy was pregnant and Dorothy's family kicked her out. Here's the, in case you didn't see it. There's a bit of a glare. Get out! Meow. Aww. <laughs> hmm. I thought that was adorable. That made me giggle. <laughs> um, so the other kittens should be back by four, back at Mountain View at four, and then I have to go pick them up. So I have a whole bunch of these. So they all, everyone in the class did, did one. So I need to figure out how to get them all posted. Ooh, learning a big lesson. Let's try it. Let's watch one more. Come on, here. well, come here then. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. Where are you anyway? Oh, you're very cute. Why don't you come in? Come in. Come this way. Like, come over here. Such a silly girl. All right. I can't really. All right. There we go. Hopefully that will be readable. I 
haven't seen this one yet. Oh, their father lived way up north. They wanted to go play outside in the farmer's backyard. Once they're, oh, oh too fast, too fast. They wanted to go outside in the farmer's backyard. Once, their mother called them to go back inside. Munchkin, Marvel, and Ozzy listened and went back inside, but Toto, Henry, and Nico didn't. <laughs> their mother thought that all the tiny kittens came back in, so she didn't notice the other three kittens were outside. The three naughty kittens heard a strange sound from the front yard. They went to the front yard to go take a look. I'm trying to read it off of the monitor across the room. It's a little bit difficult. <laughs> look how cute they are. When they took a look, they saw something magical. It was an ordinary snowman, but it came to life. They were so shocked that they couldn't move or talk, and all of their mouths were hanging open and their eyes were glowing. It seemed like the kittens were paralyzed. The snowman was walking slowly toward them. Nico, Henry, and Toto thought he wanted a snowball fight, and he did. Meanwhile, back in the barn, Marvel, Ozzy, and Munchkin were having a little tea party. Dorothy went upstairs to go check on the three boys to see if they were okay, but when she got to the room, they were gone. Oh, I don't think I can read that one across the room. She looked out the window in their room, and there they were having a snowball fight with a snowman. She ran down the stairs to get them, but then she remembered that she was terrified of snow, and the three bad kittens didn't have any experience in snow yet. Dorothy really didn't want to go out there, but she had to save her kittens. Dorothy rushed out the door and bit the snowman's head off. The three little kittens were as sad as a turtle finishing last in a race. Since that snowman was magical, Dorothy felt really weird, and after five seconds, she was flying. Dorothy picked up all the kittens and flew them to kitten paradise. Stay tuned for chapter two. Things get even more exciting. That's very creative. This book is dedicated to Shelly and the awesome kittens of Oz for being the best kittens ever. Oh, that's adorable. That's super cute. That one was Caleb, Nathan, and Adam. <laughs> Very creative. Alright, so I have a whole bunch of these I'm going to need to post on Facebook somehow. Because they're really adorable. And most of them have a... They have a little life lesson. <laughs> like, don't run away from your mom. Or don't talk to... 
strangers. Very adorable. These two are all curled up next to the food dish, not eating the food, but curled up next to it. John's kittens eat the food. My kittens sleep next to the food. Mm -hmm. All right, back to work.